y'all, we're back with our Yum Box. Uh, we know here a while back we had to. What was that? For? That was good. <laughs> here a while back, goes, huh? here a while back, you know, we had to quit. Or like, in the we just past stopped. For a while. We stopped it, you know, because the sicknesses and all that stuff. So we started back. There's different size boxes. There's a Yum Box, which is the smallest box, which is what we get. And there's a yum yum box, and I think there's a super yum box. <laughs> so we do the small one. I think yeah. you get like maybe six. It's a lot of little treats in there. Yeah, I think it's like between six and eight maybe. Mm -hmm. Different snacks, treats, candies. We always enjoy getting these little boxes because we get to find out about other countries and how mm -hmm. they, uh, you know, the things they eat and things like that. I always say, I did the last time, this is something good like homeschoolers could do. Yeah, this is very educational yeah, is. if you want. That's the word. See, I can't think <laughs> educational now. So we already know where this box is from because when we signed up again you had you could choose between Colombia or Russia we chose Russia because I think we did Colombia the That's last right. time mm -hmm. there's a sticker that they normally have on the outside the box and it says the home of the world's longest railroad Ooh. and it comes with your little pamphlet thing that has little recipes in it it has some train trivia or trivia train and then it has uh, little stories or whatever it tells you about the food that's the, in the box. The goodies. The, the goodies. Treats. I can't get it out. And then it has nutrition facts. Uh, it also has like allergies and stuff, I think, and and things like that. So, welcome to Russia. And that's, that's the little, little map. Yeah, that's the map. This is what it looks like on the inside. Look at there, y'all. It's Russia in 60 seconds. What you might know about Russia? Uh, yeah. The longest row. The longest railway in the world, the Trans-Siberian Railroad, stretches across 5,772 miles and eight time zones, of which Russia has a whopping 11. They have 11 Ooh. time zones, right? Is that what it means? Mm, I guess so. To travel the whole thing, you would need to spend a week on a train. Wow. Wow. Then you always want to ride a train. I you? sure did. I don't know about a week. <laughs> what you might not know is mainland Russia and Alaska might be separ separated by 55 miles, but a Russian island called Big Diomede and a U.S. island called Little Diomede. I'm probably not pronouncing these things right, but y'all already know this if y'all watched this before, you know. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> Are just 2.4 miles apart as a symbol of as a symbol of thawing cold world cold war tensions in 1987 american long distance swimmer lynn cox swam from one island to the other and was congratulated jointly by ronald reagan and miguel miguel y'all know who i'm talking about i can't say the word did y'all know any of that you did i was interested it was really interesting ripe pear milk chocolate scrumptious look at there mm. you know i like chocolate okay this is called Ripe pear milk chocolate. Rich milk chocolate with ooey gooey pear filling. Oh. He loves some pears. Mm -hmm. This Russian chocolate bar is full of beauty. No, we're not talking about the sleek wrapper or even the delicious looking chocolate inside. We're talking about the pear filling. You see, Russia is home to an extra sweet, highly sought after pear known as the, I don't know how to say that, which literally translates to beauty. So what are you waiting for? It's not every day you get to take a bite of beauty, especially enrobed in luscious Russian milk chocolate. I'm gonna let Nick make an all right. these. Broke one off, and we're just gonna half that because I don't know if I like it. I probably like it all right. Mm -hmm. So it probably will not show up, but it's a little gooey looking. Yeah, it's a little gooey in there. Like jelly kind of. Ah, that's mine. Okay, I'll give you the bigger piece. <laughs> she's, yeah. trying, she's trying to take my slither down you here. You know me, I smell it. And when you smell it, you smell mainly chocolate. Yeah, it does smell like chocolate and chocolate. Mmm. That's good. It is good. That is very good. The chocolate. That's delicious. It's delicious. The chocolate is milk chocolate. It is very good. You get chewing it like that, though. You do. You get that tart. Yeah, that yeah. That's that's how you see for it. For a few minutes. I had, that's, that yeah. was delicious. Oh, oh my gosh. I had I do not know. See, that's like saying Soviet. We'll cheese have it written down right yeah. here. Cheese potato chips. Okay. Made with absurdly addictive Russian cheese. Ooh, Tina loves cheese. Mm -hmm. Time to try the devil's apple. Mm. 
<laughs> you know it better as the potato. When potatoes were imported from America in the 1700s, Russians gave them this sinful, sinful name due to their absence in the Bible. Their odd shape didn't help either. Little did they know, T.R. Nicholas, I would order potato planting in the 1850s, paving the way for modern Russians to use them in practically everything. Potato, from potato dumplings to vodka to these crispy chips, coated to Russian slightly, slightly sweet and totally addictive cheese. <laughs> yeah, like chips. Yeah. Oh, it's like, they look like regular potato the chips. The bag's like that, it's cute with a little girl on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, cheesy. They're real cheesy. Mm-hmm. It's cheesy, y'all. It's like a cheesy powder on them. It's good. It? It's good. They're good. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're they're different. Boiled milk and chocolate cake. Crafted by Russia's most famous chocolatier. Take a look at this yum. Are you looking? There it is. <laughs> look at it. You're now locking eyes with a Russian icon. Seriously, barring President Putin, there's no face more familiar. That's because this treat called, I don't know how to say it, a popular Russian girl's name in the country's most famous by far ever since it was first crafted in Mos Moscow, Red October Factory in 1966. Since then, several local ladies have claimed to be the inspiration behind the little girl on the wrapper. Here's the famous chocolate, the exact, the same exact recipe as in 66. Coats a rich wafer cake filled with another local favorite. Don't know how to pronounce it. A ridiculously creamy caramel mm. made by boiling sweetened condensed milk. Okay. Mm. There's surely no better way to show you Russia's sweet side or to kick off your amazing Russian adventure, which will be filled with plenty more sweet and salty, savory, and seriously scrumptious, that's Tina's word, mm -hmm. surprises to come. Well, there's some dark chocolate on that, it looks like. <laughs> oh, it's soft. That's what oh, it's a like. cake. That's why. I thought it was yeah. a... Yeah, it is cake. a wafer cake. Yeah, we heard, I've heard the word cake, but... She gives me the big piece every time. That's about right. the same. They're real spongy. Yeah. But a feeling, this guy. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. It's good, y'all. Yeah, that's not that great. I don't know what that is. I don't know the taste of it. Either. I don't know what it is either. Is it coconut? It tastes like a little hint of it coconut. It tastes like it's got a little, I don't like coconut. Another fact where you learn from the trivia that Russia boost, boasts the coldest inhabited town on earth. So, you may be a bit shocked to learn that parts of the country are, <laughs> get this, subtropical. Take the city oh, of Sosha, located on the Black Sea coast. It's, <laughs> nick, <laughs> it's nicknamed the Russian Riviera because of its 80 degrees summers, dolphins, and coconut barren palms. Consider this shredded coconut coated white chocolatey ha whole hazelnut filled oh, ball hazelnut. your ticket to the <laughs> Russian the tropical. That's got a lot of coconut. I don't like coconut or hazelnut. I like hazelnut. That's I what like. I like. It's cute. I don't a little piece of that <laughs> big up there. I don't like coconut. Well, what are those? She cut real tiny pieces. Oh, you're bad. It's a crunch. Thank <laughs> you We scared. No, it's just that we don't like coconut thing. Did y'all hear that crunch? That cutting it? Very, very coconutty. <laughs> I'm not big on that. Mm -hmm. That's about my least favorite, I think. If you like coconut, you, you will love, love these. Mm -hmm. You will love it. We'll wrap him back up. I'll be chewing that on that and that's that. Because <laughs> it's been my mouth forever. <laughs> It'll be in my mouth forever. <laughs> Y'all make chuck coconuts hard to Oh, mushroom. <laughs> I can eat mushroom gravy, but I'm not big on eating biting the mushroom. This is Boliti, Bolet, I don't know. Mushroom bread bites. Taste Russia's award winning wild mushrooms. As you're reading this, dozens of basket toting Russians are scoring, scaring, hate, <laughs> scoring, you scoring. know, they're looking around already. Scaring. The forest floors of Siberia. What are they doing? Mushroom hunting. 
Is Russia's most popular pastime. So much so that the most local 10 year olds easily distinguish edible varieties like the prized Boleate. I don't know how to say that, y'all. From the poisonous ones like the lethal death cap. Mm. But there is one thing Russians love more than hunting for mushrooms is eating them. You can partake with this country. <laughs> country. Crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> crunchy twice baked bread rusk. Complete with bullet mushroom seasoning. All you have to do is hunt for the bag. Well, we found it. Right here it is. Okay, y'all. No, we're, gonna, we're kind of nervous, though. I'm going to let you know I don't know about mushrooms. Reminds me of little croutons. So, oh, yeah. Well, to like me, it. like it does on a salad. Would you like to get one? Mm, that looks a little skirt. <laughs> that will try. They're not too bad to taste. That's what it looks like. Not like that. I ain't put that whole thing in her mouth. Uh-uh. I can't do it. I wouldn't put them on the salad. That's about my worst. Oh, <laughs> Look, I just took but a slither. <laughs> I put the whole thing. You know me. I put the whole thing. I tried the whole thing. <laughs> the next thing is nuts and milk chocolate wafer. Okay. Russia's softest, nuttiest, cakiest wafer. This yum takes us to Starry Oshko, you know, <laughs> the headquarters of the company that makes it, Slavanka. Mm. Sounds good. Where we asked their team which of their products they thought our customers would love most. They said without a shadow of a doubt that it would be this one. All right. We have to agree. After all, with layers of soft wafer filled with hazelnut cocoa cream, <laughs> a sprinkling of crushed peanuts, and a melt in your mouth chocolate oh, glaze. Nice. What's not to love? But take a bite and decide for yourself. Was the prediction correct? We'll let you know. Look at there. Mm-hmm. Take <laughs> a little that, crunch. Get that crunch. I'll take that piece. Hey. Smells good. That's just like good. chocolate now. You can, smell the, you can smell the nuts. You can't smell the nuts. Y'all allergic nuts don't be eating it. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, that's delicious. I've had that before. I've had that before. You know what that tastes like? Them Nutty Buddy Little Debbie. Is it Little, is it little Debbie make them? They're called Nutty Buddies. Yes, nutty butters and nutty buddies. They're long, like they're long, long sticks. like little, yeah, like little wafers. You're exactly right. That's exactly that's what, what it tastes like. like. So if you like them, you like these. They're, I've not had that in a long time. I haven't either. They're good. They are good. Very good. Candy store staples is this thing here, which I'm fixing to tell you about, and then these little pieces of candy here. This is white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. Luscious hazelnut cream in a sugar cone shell. Mmm. Mm. This yum is a fairy tale. No, really, its name. Ordinary, ordinary miracle. It's based on the title of a Russian fable in which a wizard transforms a man into a bear who then falls in love with a princess. Sounds more like an extraordinary miracle to us, but even that isn't as fantastic as the yum it inspired. Yes, we're saying that this crispy wafer filled with luscious hazelnut and white chocolate cream is even more incredible than the bear princess love story. Oh, okay. Come out they like come that. out like that. There's like a but they're long. there's like right many of them in there. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to try one. No, here they crunch. You hear that crunch? <laughs> there she goes with the biggest. There you go. Got this little white creamy. Just stuff a little bit of white. I don't know if you can see it. Mmm. Oh my god. That is good. That's about my favorite one, mm. I do believe. What is that cream again? Hazelnut cream. Mmm, that is really hazelnut good. Not hazelnut, but that is good. Mm -hmm. I'd say that's one of my favorite. That's one of my sauce. favorite right there. Thanks for these little exotic fruit jellies. I don't know I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you, I don't like jelly I'm going to tell you. I don't like a jelly sauce. I'm going to let y'all know, I'm not going to really eat this. <laughs> well, y'all going to take a little bite. It's like a jelly. Yes. Yeah, it's a jelly. It's okay. jelly. It's not a gummy. It's like a jelly. Yeah. It's exotic. Like it look like this. I don't want but a tiny piece of that. Well, that's it. We got two, so we're going to just like, we're gonna yeah. try one. Exotic fruit jellies. Ripe mango. <sighs> smells good. Black currant mint. And strawberry pepper. 
Okay. Oh <laughs> if you've completed the trivia, you already know that Russians love jelly, even when it's made of meat. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Did I read that right? Meat, M E A T. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fortunately, for those not so keen on trying jelly, jiggly pork. Ooh. Russians also love a different kind of jelly, fruity jelly candy, locally called marmalade. Tens of it have been flying off the shelves of Moscow candy stores for centuries. Now, you can try their juiciest modern varieties, ripe mango, strawberry, and black pepper, or mint and black curry and berries. So, we've got two different flavors here. The purple one is the red, so I'm assuming this is a strawberry thing. Probably. Well, right. let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Strawberry pepper. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It looks like jelly. It does smell it. She always does me thicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, uh -uh. it. When you first start chewing it, it tastes like it's really good. good. But after you get chewing it real good, it's not for me. I don't like the texture. I can taste that little bit of pepper. <laughs> Ain't that weird? Uh. I reckon I, never, like I ain't never tasted strawberry pepper. It's not bad, bad. It's not bad. I don't like texture. It's strawberry. not bad. I just don't really like the texture of it. Here's that other one that's got a little purple on it. That one must be the, um. That one's like the same thing. Right. This must be the mint and black curry berry. Oh, I don't know about that. Thank you for a little piece. I, I about appreciate it. it. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that, y'all. I don't like that. <laughs> Oh, you can taste the mint. You can sure can. You can really taste the mint. Uh-uh. I'm not Ooh. thrilled with that. I lie down. <laughs> like I said, begin. this is our October box. That's when we signed yeah. back up. So we have another box here. <laughs> which is November. <laughs> and next week we'll have December, I guess. But anyway. We're going to do that yeah. as quick as we can. Yeah. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you would like to try your first Yum box. Now, we bought... We pay for all this ourselves, so they didn't send us anything for free or nothing like that. Oh, if no, anything no. happened like that, of course, we'll let you know that up front. Right. But um, you, we don't get anything if you sign up or nothing like mm -hmm. that. If you want to try it, you're more than welcome. The link's down below. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Bye, y'all.